So it's like a skirt and a wrap top. So this here is the one I'm using for the top. So basically, I'm going to be cutting a wrap top for the top part of it. So um, what I did here is just I have fabrics folded. This one is folded into two. You can see the fold here. And then this also is folded into two. You can see if I open it, it's folded into two. And the length is my shoulder to my waist plus one. So my half length, which is 18 plus one that's half an inch for joining the top half an inch for joining the bottom and then the width i have here is just my bust divided by four which is my bust is 42 10.5 that's divided by four is 10.5 plus one is 11.5 so that's basically the width and then you know this is the back panel and then the one for the front panel is extended by at least it depends on you you can do four inches but i decided to do five because i want it to wrap in properly right not that four inches cannot do it but i just wanted to do five so i have extra five inches in front for the wrap so now all i have to do is just to go ahead and insert my measurement so first i'm going to start with this part which is where my shoulder will be so you're going to divide your shoulder by two shoulder divided by two for me is going to be eight i'm going to go ahead and mark that and then come down by one inch mark my armhole divided by two which is going to be nine and then I'm going to connect it all the way to the top here. Come in here, mark my neckline. I'm going to use three inches of neckline, but you can always make your neckline wider if you want. I'm just going to use three. Connect it here and then come down one inch from here for your... Um, one inch for the back neckline. And then I'm going to give it a curve here. So basically all I have to do is just to check my measurements. Boss divided by four plus one which is here waist divided by four plus two which will be somewhere here plus two because of the dating and then i'm going to connect it all the way to the top here so i'm going to also go ahead and add in the dart i'm working with so the dart my nipple to nipple divided by two is four so that's where my dart is going to come in here and then mark it all the way up so you can use your ruler here and i'm going to connect it all the way to my chest line which is my armhole line that's how far my dart will go up. And then I'm going to mark half an inch on both sides. This way. So that's basically my back dart. And then, so now that I've marked it, I'm also going to go ahead and notch it here. So that I can transfer that same point to the front. So I've notched it. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So guys, see, I've cut out the armhole. You see, this is the thing I cut both in front and the back. Cut out the shoulder slope. Cut out the back neckline. And then you also have to cut out this waist, um, the line for this um, the part of the waist also. So I'm going to go ahead and also cut that out. Now, another thing that you're going to do for the back so that, the, the, um, so that it will relax better, the gather you're going to add it will stay right on your waist is to measure from your shoulder to your waist on the back and insert that here. But normally it's like one inch shorter. So I'm just going to go up one inch here and then blend it into the side seam. But make sure that you still maintain the same length on the side. So I'm just going to blend this down here. This will help my gather to look good at the back. So blend it in to the back this way. And then you're going to go ahead and cut it off, right? So I'm going to go up one inch from the center and then blend it into the side this way. So you see that is done. So my back panel is done. Now moving over to the front, all we have here is the notch that we made for the dart, which is here. I'm going to take it up. So for my shoulder to my bust is at 12. My shoulder to nipple is at 12, right? So my dart is going to be one inch before that, which is at 13. So now I'm going to just go ahead and mark where my dart is going to be from this point and then half an inch on both sides, right? So this is going to be my dart in front. And now the next thing is where your shoulder slope cuts off, which is for me is here. If I place it now, you see where the shoulder slope, this point here. So for me is at this point. 
So I'm going to just connect it to the end of this line here. So connect it to the end of this uh, part. Or if you want, you can do like, let's say two inches so that you can use that part to attach your belt. So I'm going to come up here like two inches, right? Depending on the width your belt is going to be, that the tie is going to be. So I'm, let's say I decide to do, um, let me say I decide to do like three inches because I'm still going to use half an inch for the bias and half an inch to join this bottom part to the flay at the bottom. So I'm going to do three inches up from here. So that once I take away half an inch at the top and half an inch at the bottom, I'll be left with like two inches. So mark that and then I'm going to connect. It depends on you, like if you're making the belts like a rope, then you can just cut it to the end. end. But I'm making the belt to be thick like a band right like two inches width so now i'm going to just connect this this way guys you know this whole thing that i cut now is going to make the neck narrow because of this straight line but if you don't mind that you want the neck high this way it's okay but for me i would like to open it up a little bit more not that not to show cleavage but just to open it up some more so i'm just going to come down here and just widen it up some more and then blend it into that straight line again, especially at this top part here. So now I'm going to just go ahead and cut it out from here. And then I'm going to cut. So that's basically all I need for my top. Cut this part open here. The skirt is going to be very easy. So all I have to do, this is what I'm using for the skirt again, like I did before. I folded the front into two. And then I also folded the back into two. You see, both of them are on folds, right? But then the, the measurement I have here is the widest part of my lower body, which is the hip, divided by four. My hip is 48, divided by four is 12, plus one, 13 is what I have here as the width, right? 13 is what I have here. So now the next thing you're going to do is just to go ahead and measure from your waist to your hip. For me, that's going to be about 10 somewhere here but remember i still have to add my band so let's say my band is going to be about 1.5 inches for the band right so i'm going to mark where 10 inches is going to be which is somewhere here now i'm going to just go ahead go up to my waist which is here and mark my waist um divided by four my waist is 34 divided by four 8.5 and then plus two inches like we did before two inches because of the dating right and then I'm going to also come down here. The measurement I have here, whatever measurement I have here, I'm going to subtract one inch from it. Because it's a pencil skirt, right? And then I'm going to blend this part down to this part and mark this one all the way to this point. So now my skirt is ready. I'm going to just go ahead, cut this part out. So guys, this is it here. You see, I've cut out this part and then I also cut out this part. So this is now my skirt. And then for the dark, the same thing we did at the top is like nipple to nipple divided by two, mark that. So guys, after that, you're going to mark nipple to nipple measurement and then like four inches in for me because nipple to nipple for me is eight. And then divided by two is um four. So I'm going to uh, mark, I marked the dart coming down here, half an inch on both sides. And then it's going to stop two inches before your hip. Remember my, my waist to hip is at 10, which is this line. But my dart is going to stop two inches before that. So basically that is it. I'm just going to go ahead and split the center. Because I'm supposed to have two back panels and one front panel. So guys, with this done now, you're also going to go ahead and cut out the flare you're going to use for your skirt. For the skirt, it depends on you how short you want yours to be. Like my skirt length now at this point is at um i'm using 18 inches but remember i'll still take away half an inch here for joining this part to the flay and half an inch here for joining the top part to the band and then i also have my flay so the, the the width i have here is about um six inches but remember you're still going to fold the edge right you're still going to fold this edge here and then you still have one half an inch to, at the top but it depends on you if you want to make it like a mini skirt or if you want to make it like um um just um in uh, mid tie length anyone you want you can do but this is what i'm using here so you're going to use basically round the opening here whatever round the opening or you can just do your hip measurement times um let's say three 
as the width of the flare you're going to be using i've told you what the length would be if you want you can reduce it and do five inches for the length and still take away from it your one inch of folding the edge and half an inch for folding the top because i think this six inches might be too long i may still reduce mine so that i can get that uh how that one looks on the thumbnail that made it look like the short flare i don't want it too long right if, it, if it's too long, it will look like a different style. So let's say I might just go back in now and do five inches for it. And the same goes for the top. I will still do five inches for the flare I'm using on the bottom of the top. Five inches of length and then any amount that will be enough for you to go around for the width. So you see, this is just what I have here. I've cut it, but it means I'm going to be joining them and just keep on gathering it at the bottom of my skirt, you see. I'm just going to join it at this edge and then I'll have something longer and just keep gathering it. And this is basically one end of a color to the other, you see. So just as much as you think you would need is what you're going to cut out. So now that this is done, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to join it. And then this is what my top looks like. So you see, remember, it's going to be two um, bits uh, for the front and then one piece for the back here. This is the back. So now, moving over to the sleeve, it depends on you, like I said before, the length you want. But if you look at the picture, you find that the, the length is like a short sleeve. So what I have here is about 9 inches of length because I still need room for the seam allowance. And then I'm going to come down here by like 4 inches for my cap height. And then I'm going to just rule a straight line across to the end. Just a basic sleeve is what I'm marking and then I'm going to mark another line from this part to this point halfway through that line which is somewhere here you give it a curve above this way and then a curve below this way and then you're going to insert your sleeve width divided by two plus extra one inch wherever that is you connect it this way and then cut it out so that's basically it for this here so i'm going to go ahead now and start coupling everything together if you want you can use a lining but this is like a casual wear so i'm just going to use like bias to finish it because one thing you don't want i don't want to make it too thick and and then it gets hot like because of the extra layer of cloth so i'm just going to use bias to line it um the neckline so that's basically it now let me go ahead and start coupling mine together so guys like i said just adjoin the shoulder to the shoulder the front on both sides insert your sleeve and then finish it up here so you see my my ruffle like i said five inches is better because that six inches i had to reduce it so five inches is perfect for the length of the ruffle so now all i have to do i made this belt like i said it's two inches of weight all i'm going to do now is just to take it this way and join it at the edge of this here right you see before i join my ruffle because this ruffle just put it on the sewing machine i just pleat it with your fingers and then keep sewing so it's placed like this on my sewing machine and then i just place it this way there are different ways to make the gather any way you want so but before i got to the end i already folded this edge here like this before i got to the end here where i sewed it down so now all i have to do is just to take this belt and stitch it down like this just stitch it down to hold here and then also stitch this other one down here on the inside and you see on one side i already have an opening so on one side you're going to make an opening for the belt to pass through right so that's basically it for the top and my top will be done now for the skirt i've gone ahead the same length of ruffle that i use for the top is what i use for the bottom five inches five inches right you see that's why it looks cute like this because once it's long it will change the style but it's also okay if you want to change the style a little so this is it here and then for the band like i said i, I can do 1.5 or so so all i have to do is just to fold my band this way and then i'm going to join it from one side of the back of the skirt to the other side right just join it all over but before you start make sure that your skirt width here is already half of your waist measurement right so that you don't go and join it and it's already more than measure from here to here and make sure it's half of your waist measurement and then you take your band and join it all over to the back where the zip is once you get to the back you also put in your zipper so i'm going to do that now and then i'll bring it back so you guys can see so guys this is it here i finished it and this is the i've added the straps to it so you see this is done and then this is the skirt the band is on it 
and then this is the back of the skirt so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see my next video please guys like share and subscribe bye